the rain's died down a bit. I think I might have just sheltered behind a bit of a, a mound, but I'm uh, making my way over to Maidenmoor, which is my second way around the day. Uh, I'm doing okay. The pace is just below 20 minute kilometers, which is kind of where I aim for. So hopefully I can keep that up all day and it should take me around seven to eight hours for the whole walk. Just struggling to find the top of oh, Maiden Moor at the moment. It's so cloudy and the, the clouds are so low, I just can't really see anything. Yeah, I've been to the top of what I thought it might have been, but I don't think it is. But I, uh, I can't quite see anything. So I'm just sort of going in blind trying to see where the highest point is. So I might have to wander around for a bit. I've managed to get a little bit of uh, shelter here. It was uh, an absolute gale blowing before, um, after I reached the top of Maiden Moor, which I managed to find, as you saw by the picture. I'm working my way over to High Spine X, which is my third way in route of the day. So I've just reached the top of uh, High Spy and it's getting a bit windy still uh, the rain's died down a bit there was some glimpses of sun shining through but um, i don't think it's going to be coming for a while i've done 6.76k and i've been going for one hours and 55 minutes so that's an average pace of about 17 minute kilometers which is uh, probably my best yet really helping that one a path uh, over to dale head next got to try and make it across there somehow I'm hoping there's a an easy way here but we'll have to wait and see I made it over the river I didn't go over the area that I showed you it was just too fast too risky so I uh, just went further down and uh, made a leap across so this will be my in fact I've done 70 Wainwrights so far I've been going um, nearly three weeks it was, uh, it would be three weeks on Monday that I started. And I've done 70, which is pretty good going. I'm pretty happy, I'm not a hiker. Um, I'm just trying to plod through them. My aim is not to stop, that's the goal. Don't stop for lunch, just eat it on the go. Don't stop for, you know, breaks every now and again, just keep going. Not a fast pace, but a steady pace. 20 minute kilometers, that's the aim. And hopefully I can get through uh, each day without completely ruining myself. Looks like an absolute perfect place to pitch your tent here, but I'm not staying overnight, so leave it for someone else. I've just finished at Dalehead and I'm on to uh, Hinscarth next. I wish there were some views to show you, but there's nothing off the side of these mountains here. So, so far I've just done over 9K and I've been going for two hours and 50 minutes. This is Hinscarth Peak and there's a shelter cairn there, which I've just got to. Um, I'm off to Robinson next. I've done about 11k and I'm on 3 hours 15 minutes. So I've just been to Robinson, 
and that was the sixth weighing route of the day. I'm off to Not Rig next. We've run there 13.4k in about three hours 55 minutes. Just had a quick pit stop to uh, change my waterproofs off. It was getting a bit too hot. I'm still heading over to uh, Not Rig. Still on my way up to uh, Not Rig. I've just sprinted up that hill then. <laughs> I saw some people in front and I can't resist trying to overtake them. So I'm a bit tired now, but at least it passes some time and it means I go a bit faster. I'm still hovering around 18 minute kilometers. Just left Ard Crags and I'm on my way to Scar Crags and Causey Pike, which is down the valley and then up there. Fantastic. Uh, it's just started to rain again, but I'm thinking it's probably just trying to spit. So I'm going to keep going for now and then uh, assess again in about five minutes and see if I need to put my waterproof back on. On the other side of the valley now, and uh, as luck would have it, I stopped to put on my raincoat and then about five minutes later the rain stopped so I've had to stop and take it off again because I was getting too hot. So I'm now slowly going to work my way up to Scar Crags and then to um, Causey Pike and then that's the end. Final two main rights, got about 5k to go. Just left Scar Crags, that was my ninth Wayne Rat of the day. Um, done 20.35 kilometers in six hours 14, so good going 18 minute 23 kilometers. So, hopefully, I can keep that up to the end. I've got one more Wayne Rat to do, that's Causey Pike, which I assume is that one behind me there. So, over to that and then back to the car. So that's me done on Causey Pike. It started to rain again, so I've got the coat on and I'm gonna shoot back down to the car as quickly as possible. It'll probably take me about an hour. Just making my way back to the car now and uh, getting close to the end only about half a kilometer to go i have done 24.37 kilometers so I'll, i've done around 25 kilometers today and seven hours 37 so probably just under eight hours probably like seven hours 45. i think the guide said nine to eleven so i finished way under that so i only really stopped today to either get food out of my bag or put waterproofs on and off and that's it 
and didn't stop for anything else. Um, and it makes a big difference over the course of a day if you just don't stop and just keep on going. So I'll leave you here and I'll see you on the next one. So it's the uh, second day of my walking in the lakes this weekend and I'm doing the North Central Fells. Really nice weather, it wasn't before I've got my full waterproofs on because it was uh, tipping it down in the car. The first weighing ride I'm heading to today is Walla Crag. It's set at the bottom, it should take about an hour and a quarter to get there up the steep climb. So I'm going to try and beat that, see how fast I can do it. Made it to the top of Walla Crag. It's uh, 8:37, and I sat off at uh, just about three minutes past eight. I, I saw the sign which said an hour and a quarter, so it's took me about 35 minutes. I've done 2.27k, and I've been going for 41 minutes. So next, I'm going over to Blueberry Fell, which is my second weighing route of the day. We had a grand total of about eight seconds of uh, view before all the cloud came in again. And now I can't see anything. I'm onto the uh, part of the walk which I knew was going to be the hardest because I've got no path to follow. I tried to find some sort of path and every time I think I have it's either a stream running through the grass or it's just like sheep trails. So. There must be one here somewhere, or maybe just people follow the river down. So I'm going between um, High Seat and Raven Crag, I think, uh, which is over there. So it's not too bad though, at least it's not uphill, it's uh, kind of downhill. And then after this, I'm back onto a proper path. I'm finally onto a road up to uh, Raven Crag. Um, went from bad to worse that. I was coming down the hill, not really following the path, and then I managed to cross the stream, which was a bit dangerous because it was really fast flowing and there wasn't many rocks, but I got there and then started to go up the path that I was told to, and all of a sudden there was a big fence in the way. Obviously that fence has been put in since the, uh, the guide was made, so I had to go along the fence and uh, there was a stile over about five, 600 meters down. 
and now I'm on a, an actual road. I've made it to the top of Raven Crag. Uh, I finally got there in the end. It was a nice walk up, there were some light steps. Um, view's great here, there's like a little platform to, uh, to look out from. Um, over to Armbo fell next. I've got two more Wayne Wrights to go, then I'm done. I've been going for three hours, 19 minutes, and I've done 10.6K. So that's an average pace of around 18.50, which is okay. I was down at like 16.30 before, but this last hour or two has really slowed me down. I'm just on my way to the final weighing route of the day, which is High Tove. Uh, it's, uh, it's raining pretty bad. I've been off the path for about an hour. It's just exhausting uh, walking on the grass and the bog. My feet's like gone under about three times. Luckily, I've got my gaiters on and they've not got wet, but it's just exhausting. I'd rather walk double the distance on a path any day. Um, every time I think I've found a path, it's just a stream and uh, I've got to get out of it because it's just all boggy. I've just left uh, High Tove. That ground was awful. I'm glad to be off it. I'm on a path now. Um, I've been going for 4 hours 30 minutes and I've done 14.93 kilometres. So around 18 minutes still kilometres, which is it's still good. I feel like I'm going really slowly, but it's not too bad. Um, the thing is, there's only a thousand meters of climbing, so uh, I'm going about the same speed as yesterday, maybe a bit faster, but there's much less climbing and it's shorter. I'll blame it on the terrain. Got to the end of my route now. Um, I've done about 20k uh, in about five hours 40 minutes, uh, which is pretty good going. Um, the terrain was okay for the majority of it, but that middle section was really hard, so I lost a lot of time there. I've got a great view out onto uh, Derwent Water here, so I'm just heading back to the car and then it's uh, on my way home. Mm -hmm.